Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I hope everybody had a fun and great weekend. Today is Monday. Today is Memorial Day. I have a lot of errands to run. I'll be heading out to the mall in a little bit with my sister-in-law, so I thought I'd take you guys with me since I have been a little bit MIA. As you guys can already tell, you guys can see how badly burned I am. Yesterday, I went to the beach with my husband's family, and your girl did not wear any sunblock, so this is the total outcome of it. And for those who are white skin, y'all know that we don't get tan, we get red and burned. So that's pretty much what happened to me, unfortunately. So literally wearing anything like on top of my shoulders it doesn't burn, but it, it does irritate it. So I'm going to try my best to not wear like something over it. Um, but it, since it is going to be hot outside, I'll try my best to just like suck it up and wear like a t-shirt or something. But uh, yeah, so that's pretty much all I have for today. The Rockets play today, so hopefully, hopefully... God, if you're hearing my prayer, hopefully we win. I want to make it to the finals. The app just the mall, watching the game. And yeah. And then also don't forget to go ahead and take a minute to appreciate those who died serving our country and any armed forces. That's the main reason why we celebrate Memorial Day. So again, don't forget to appreciate those. And yeah, I'm going to go ahead and head out and I'll take you guys with us. And if you guys haven't already, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Like, comment, and subscribe. And let's go. Alright guys, so I'm just waiting for Jocelyn to get in the car and then we're going to go ahead and head out. So this is pretty much what I'm wearing today to go ahead and cover me up. It does kind of hurt a little bit, but got to do what I got to do. And uh, these are the kicks for today. I figured, you know, go ahead and represent red, white, and blue. So yeah, I'm going to go head out to the mall real quick, run the couple of errands, and we'll see what we do today. So I'll go ahead and take you guys with us. What's up guys? So we just made it to the mall. It's already hella hot. It's probably like 90 degrees. So yeah. we're gonna go ahead and uh, return some stuff at Sephora. Well, actually exchange, I wanna get a palette. Um, and then just go ahead and shop around. Gosh, Houston, y'all gotta chill out with this weather. Can we go back? I know. Can we go back to winter time, please? But it is too cold. <laughs> yeah. So I've never really filmed inside the mall. So I wonder how this is going to be. Let me go ahead and take off my shades. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Everybody's gonna be staying at us all weird. I know. But I need footage for you guys. I haven't filmed in forever, so all for the YouTube guys. Uh, is it not open? That's what you say it's on the other side. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So at Willowbrook, they finally like remodeled the Sephora. So we're gonna go ahead and check it out. Hopefully it's open, actually. So this is what the old one used to look like. Let's go check it out. I'll go ahead and show you what the mall looks like. So here's H&M, the food court's that way. And <gasps> there's a new Sephora, dude, it looks so good. I wonder if it's um, if it's open. And it's not open. It's not open? Are you serious? It beats the purpose of us coming. <laughs> wow. Who did you tell me it was open? I thought it was open. It was supposed to be open today. May 31st, guys. We're two days early. It's supposed to be open on the 31st. Oh, on Thursday. Really Let's see if we can take oh, a sneak peek. It's really big. So we can kind of see into it. So the main reason why I came is to come to support. And I can't even do that. So I guess we're just going to go ahead and shove around. Um, where do you want to, where do you want to go? To Sephora? Well, if anything, we can probably go to like another mall. Yeah. But for now, let's try out H&M. I need some clothes, some summertime clothes, guys. Um, so I just have nothing but work clothes, and all my work clothes are professional clothes. So let's do some shopping. Guys, 
H&M, we couldn't really find anything. Some of the styles are like either too short or I'm just too fat yeah, for them. It's just nothing there. No, so we're gonna go ahead and try out other stores at the mall and then probably head out to another mall because the main reason why we came here was for Sephora and Sephora is closed. So we have to go to another mall, but we're just gonna continue shopping and then uh, probably find something to eat and then head back home. So we just made it to Memorial Mall. We're gonna go ahead and check out the Sephora. The Sephora here is like really huge. So we're gonna do a little bit of shopping. I don't have the receipt for this, so hopefully I can just exchange for a palette or something. But we'll see. We will see. So I'll catch you guys inside. Guys, this one smells so good. So I actually need a perfume, so let me know what you guys recommend. What you guys wear. I like like floral, rosy smells. Nothing that's too sweet. Anything that has peonies, I think that's how you say it. it smells really good. This one used to be like one of my favorites. The Coco Chanel, Mademoiselle, but everybody started wearing it. So it kind of became not my favorite anymore. But let me know what you guys like or what you guys use. So uh, your girl needs to move for Thank you. Guys, this palette is like super nice. It has all the colors. It's currently 95 degrees. And put this AC up. So today was successful. We did a couple shopping stuff. So I'll probably do like a video of, of a haul, like of the things that I got. So yeah, now we're just gonna go ahead and go back home, chill, enjoy Memorial Day, and um, yeah. watch the Rockets game. And watch the Rockets game at night. update y'all my skin is like raging right now you guys have no idea how bad this hurts i honestly feel for those of you who've watched lilo and stitch if you guys haven't watched it go ahead and watch there's a clip where there's like a really chubby white guy that's super badly sunburned that's how i feel that i look like i'll probably go ahead and enter it in the in the clip but you guys if you guys have any tips or tricks on how to like help relieve pain i am using aloe vera but if there's anything you guys can think of that can help please comment down below help you grow out i'm dying in this skin Woo, what we got um i just got a little bit of goodies so i'm gonna go ahead and start with my sephora bag the first thing i got is this quick fix it's a hydra charge complexion prep priming spray so this is what this little guy looks like. Um, it has coconut water, septonic M3, and a vitamin B3 as well. I guess it's a primer water. Um, it says here that it visibly reduces the appearance of pores, brightens and smooths skin, and replaces, <clears throat> blah, blah, replaces lost moisture. So lightweight, you'll hardly feel it. This spray is so addictive, you'll want to use it all day long. Cool. Go ahead and uh, try it out.
Mmm, this smells good. Oh, really good. I can smell the coconut in it. Alright, so the next thing that I purchased um, was this primer that I always rant to you guys about. It's the Dr. Brandt's Pores No More. If you guys have not tried this primer, I promise you go and buy it out. I know it's a little bit on the pricier side than like most primers. It's $45, but it's so worth every penny. Um, it actually like right away you can see when you put, place it on your skin that like your pores get smaller. Um, your foundation just goes on seamlessly. So if you guys are trying to accomplish that look, I highly, highly recommend this primer. The next thing that I got... Um, was so I like to use makeup wipes when I'm finishing with the day to take off all my makeup I was using the Neutrogena wipes, but I noticed that with those wipes I would like when I rub it against my skin. It would leave my skin like feeling really like harsh um, And when I would use it around my eye area <clears throat> It like started bothering me or really irritating my eyes So I wasn't a huge fan of the Neutrogena makeup wipes So I started using the coconut cleansing wipes by Sephora and I absolutely fell in love with them. They're super soft on the skin. It does its job. And sometimes, I'm not going to lie, when I am lazy and I don't want to take off my makeup, I'll just go ahead and take out a makeup wipe and call it a night. So, and the next thing that I got is this makeup palette. I know I'm super late on this palette. This palette probably came out, I think, last year or a couple months ago. Um, but I finally got my hands on one. I thought it was limited edition, but I guess it's not. These are the colors that are on the palette. Super nice. It's like a super basic neutral palette. You can glam it up with the little shimmer shadows that they have here or just keep it as like a natural day look. So I can't wait to do a tutorial on um, a makeup look, but I'm pretty natural. So I don't know, but we will see. And then I did get mini samples. I never used my Beauty Insider card, so I finally had the chance to just go ahead and use it. I got these like little Sephora pins. Um, earlier in the video, you could see that I was wearing the heart one and the unicorn one. So I just placed them back in the package so I can show you guys, but this is the little pins that I got from them. And then I also got these Glam Glow Minis. So this one is a super mud uh, mask. It's supposed to like exfoliate and take out your blackheads. This one is the clean, uh, Clearing Cream to Foam Cleanser. Never used this one. And uh, the last one from Glam Glow was a Mega Illuminating Moisturizer. So I got these three. And then I also got, it came into like a package. Um, it's from First Aid Beauty. So it's three of these little guys. So the first one is a face cleanser. It's supposed to remove surface oils, makeup, dirt, and grime. So I, if you guys seen my last videos, uh, I use the Neutrogena um, Deep Cleanse or Deep Clean. That's the one I've been using for like the longest. So it pretty much does the same thing as this one. So I probably might check it out. And it says um, it's safe for sensitive skin. So your girl needs that. The next one is an intense hydration for dry pat parched skin safe for sensitive skin well, my skin's not usually dry but i guess since it's going to be summertime it's probably a good thing to use and last but not least the coconut cream water um it's supposed to help hydrate smooth and recharge safe for sensitive skin as well i love all these things for sensitive skin if you guys have my type of skin i like to look for stuff like this because it is kind of hard i know a lot of people can use like whatever on their skin but with me my skin either gets like really pigmented with red or um it just like it starts forming like bad textures so i like to look for things that say for sensitive skin so that's pretty much it for my sephora bag the next thing i got was or um it's from bath and body works i got this spray called pink lily and bamboo this is like the most perfect spray for summer it has the notes are wild lily petals bamboo leaf pink ginger fresh fig and sauna wood you guys if you guys can smell what this smells like you are going to be so amazed this smells so good so you guys are looking for like a nice body spray for summer this one's it and then i also got another one which was happy vibes if I'm not mistaken, I think the notes on this one that I read was like, um, crap, I forgot. It was like citrus or something like that, but it is really good too. I didn't want to get the big size because I already got this one, 
but these are the two that I got from Bath and Body Works. And last but not least, the last thing that I got um, were a couple t-shirts from Sephora. I mean, from Zara. I got um, a basic navy and white striped shirt. This is what it looks like here. You can pair this with a pair of shorts, leggings, or jeans. Since we're since it's already summertime, I'll probably just pair it with a pair of shorts and some nice sandals. You can even wear it with sneakers. And then the other shirt that I got is this camo shirt. You guys can never go wrong with a camo shirt in your wardrobe. Camo goes with literally everything, every type of shoe. You can dress it up, you can dress it down. So this is pretty much all I got for today. Um, I did order some stuff online from H&M, so when that gets here, I'll probably do like a try on haul or like summer outfits for you guys. But yeah, that was pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, um, if you guys don't go ahead and follow, go ahead and click that subscribe button, like, comment, share, and stay tuned for more videos. Peace.